Lewinsky in my red cup. Remember first day you wouldn't give it up. We had only scratched the surface, but I knew that you were worth it. Yeah, yeah. So I was patient. I bragged to my niggas, Joe name it. I'm still with the niggas that I came with. But everything changed once some fame hit. Make it up, take you down, have a shot, I'll bite around, play my song, you like the sound, it's going down, it's going down. Let's drink coffee, watch passerbys, and prove to you. So what's good, gang? We back in the video game with another banger. You already know, over two times, two times fam. And we back with this Q&A. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So... First question I was asked is what is my full name? Obviously, I'm not going to tell you my full name for, you know, security and privacy purposes. So, over two times, that's my name. I go by Obi. Hmm. Second question. Let's, let's see. What does my name mean? What does Obi mean? Like... OB, it's a abbreviate. It's a, it's the first two letters of my name, which is my name. I can tell you that it's it's Obadiah. So you see where OB comes from. Yep. Whatever. So to the third question. Ah, let's get it. Third question number three. Am I named after anyone? Um, actually, I don't, I don't think I am, to really be honest, like, my name's in the Bible, and in the Bible, uh, my, the, the person Obadiah is a servant of God, but yeah, you know, I know a little bit of backup about my name, you know, I did some research, hmm, so, question number four, Uh, I'm not gonna ask number four. No, don't. No, mm, no. If I could change my first name, would I change it? Absolutely not. No, I would not. And the reason for that being, because my name holds weight. I don't really know. I have not met any anybody else with the first name Obadiah, and I don't think I will. I really don't. So that name, my name is very unique. You won't really find anybody with the name that I have, so. Mm hmm Question. Oh, six. Where am I from? I am from, I am from Clinton, North Carolina. 910 made 500 military. Military. So, I live in Clinton. I'm gonna say for like, basically like my whole life. I basically been going. I moved recently due to some something that happened, which is like my house caught on fire. So if if you want the story time about how my house caught on fire and stuff like that, you know, get, get this video to nothing nothing too hard, nothing too major. Get to a hundred likes. 100 likes and a thousand views. Ooh, can't believe that like that. Like, why is you doing me like that? You feel me? And a thousand views, like that would that would mean the world to me. Like, I want to be an entertainer. That's just I just like to entertain people. I like to record. I'm I'm very I love the camera very much. Whatever. So. Next question, which is, where was I born? I was actually, to really be honest, I don't know exactly where I was born at. I never asked, and I've never, and I never asked, so I guess that's why my mom didn't tell me or whatever. But, I don't really care. Don't make me no difference. Alright, so, the next question. Where did I grow up? Like I was saying earlier, I grew up in Clinton, North Carolina, born and raised there. Well, not, I wasn't. Actually, I can't say that. I wasn't born there, but I was where I was raised up. Um, my goal is to make it 
is to try and make it from YouTube so that I can go back and show love to where I'm from. Like most people, most people they don't they don't make it out from where I'm from. And like that's sad to say, people be getting killed and stuff like that. Whatever, whatever the case may be, I wouldn't be the first person from my city to come back and show love. Like you don't like y'all don't understand. Like. People do YouTube because it's the money and stuff like that. I don't even care about the money, bro. I'm, I'm not getting paid anyway. Not yet. Even when I do get paid, it won't be about the money. It'll be about just making videos for you, my subscribers. Y'all are why I do this. Like, I don't do it for me. I do it to be entertainers, to entertain people. That's my goal. That's my sole purpose and goal in life. I want to be entertained. It's just something I want to do. Hmm. Next question. What did I look like growing up? Wow. Why would like? Why would you want to ask that? I'll show y'all. I was a little. I was a little ugly dude. A little ugly dude. All right, no, I'm gonna have some people in my comments being like, "Oh, you still ugly?" This, that, the third. I'm gonna tell you this. I don't care. I don't care. People gonna say shit about you the rest of your life, whether you did, with your life. So, what y'all say in the comments? It don't matter because I'm gonna make videos regardless. This is what I want to do. Like, you did. You know? Check the vibe out. Alright. People say, uh. Next question. What are my best characteristics? I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, for that question, the answer is, <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer a question that I don't have an answer to. Sorry, not sorry. You feel me? Like, what do you want me to say? Like, there's like nothing I can say to answer that question. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> next question. Next question, next question. Hmm. You already know. You already know. You already know. Sponsored by Gabe. That's why I work here, gay, you feel me? <laughs> Where we get all the business. <laughs> big bucks, big checks, you heard. Alright, so next question. What are the favorite things about what are my favorite things about myself? Okay. Um Hmm. If I could pick a couple of things that I truly love about myself. It's not a couple things I can pick. Like it's, I just love myself in general. I love everything about myself. Like, uh -uh. it's not just one thing, and it never will be. Like I just, I love myself to the point. So much. I love myself to the point. Like, no, like, I can't even explain. I don't even know how to put it in words. Like. Like, goddamn, like, you're gonna fuck up your life? Okay. You're gonna make mistakes. What's important is that you never lose your way. Like, you just continue being you. Like, people are, people are not always gonna like you, okay. Or if you freaking stay, you won't have a problem. But, uh, you know what? Why do you want to do this now? Oh my freak. Okay, there it goes. Alright, now he want to act good again. Okay. Whatever, stupid song. Okay, anyways, alright. Everything. I love everything about myself. So, man, check that off. So, mm, which my parents and my culture to? Most definitely my mom. She's always been there for me. So, how could I not be close to her? Like, I grew up in a, I grew up being raised by just my mom. Yeah. I saw my dad and stuff like that, but it was always just me and my mom. So my dad, if you watching this man, you ain't shit. <laughs> Simple as that, you ain't shit, you ain't gonna be shit. Fuck it. Get mad, get mad, oh well. Yeah. Fuck it. Next question is, which of your parents are you more like 
okay. I'm more like my dad. Anything. We just, we just share qualities, bro. Mm. People always say that I look, I look like, I look like my mom or whatever. But no, I look just like my dad. Mm -mm. If you were to see him, you'd be like, damn, you look not like your mom. Anyways, next question. Skipping this, skipping that question. Are your parents, are your parents still married? Actually, my grand, my grandma, she doesn't. She's not married. She don't even have. She had. I think she has a boyfriend, but she said she doesn't have whatever. So, hmm, hmm, fuck it. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. What relative was important to me growing up and why? I'm going to say... I'm going to say my older brother played a big role in me growing up. Because, like, he he wasn't really doing shit. Like, he was not really doing shit. He was not really doing shit at all, so... I was like, bro, I like, nigga, I don't want to be like you, bro. I don't. So you feel me? I rather go do what I gotta do to handle my business and get my money than feel me. Just sit there, like, nigga, like, you can't, you can't just sit on your ass and wait for shit to come to you, bro. You gotta go get that shit, nigga. What? You gotta go what? Get the bag, like, nigga. Fuck. Don't shit come to niggas, bro. You just sit on your ass. Mm mm. You can't live like that. You just can't, bro. Mm -mm. And that's not the type of life that I want for myself. Like, I want more out of life than just what I'm seeing. Like, you dig? You get what I'm saying, man? And if you don't, you understand way more by watching my channel. Which goes back to like and comment and subscribe. Like, my channel is gonna grow. It's gonna get better, so. I'm only gonna make better content. So you feel me? You see the like, see the bro. You gonna watch my videos? You gonna like my content? Or you not gonna watch it? Like, it's it's not gonna hurt me, bro. You feel me? Yeah. So. Bro, hold on, bro. I'm shooting a video. Okay, so to answer that, check mark. What is one? What is one thing? Oh, what's one thing that I've never revealed to my parents? Man, if I didn't tell my parents something like that, like what you mean? Oh, what they gonna tell y'all? The two, the two. What they gonna tell y'all? Alright, anyway, fuck. I'm gonna tell you. So I was in, when I was in middle school. When I was in middle school. I got in trouble. I got in trouble for calling a, calling a little girl, calling a girl the B word or whatever. So, so I got in trouble for calling a girl the B word or whatever. So, I had called my cousin. I had called my cousin to pick me up from school. Come and got me with the woo. Long story short. They never found out about it anyway. And I know that's like a little, that's, that's something boring that I'm t I just told y'all. Y'all probably want like some, some juice, like some some real juice, like, you know. But nah, I ain't about to tell, tell y'all no stuff like that. Not yet, not yet. You gotta, you gotta tune in. You gotta tune in, hey. You gotta, you gotta become a part of the family. Indeed. Um... What would my parents have named me if I was opposite the gender? I don't even know that. That's like some, that's some weird shit. Ask somebody, bro. Like, that's not something y'all ask somebody, bro. But I ain't gonna tell you who asked me that. But that's not something you ask somebody. But that's some, that's some weird shit, bro. That's some weird stuff. Very weird. Nah, I just want you to know that. Very weird. Very weird. All right. What is my best physical feature? 
I don't even know. I would say, uh, I'm saying it's, it's my it's my face. Mm -hmm. This brings in the moolah. Cash, boy. Get the cash in. Nah, let me stop bullshit, though. I don't know. That's something. Hey, y'all tell me, though. You feel me? You tell me what's my best physical feature. Alright. Hmm. Alright. What is... What is my... What's my biggest fear? Um, I don't really have too many fears. But if I had to say my biggest fear, my biggest fear is, is like one day, like I might get in a plane, find a plane, or get in a boat, whatever. And like, bro, the plane might just got down. I don't know. It might just like fucking crash into the ocean. Like I don't know. Like it's always a fear I have of planes. Like, like I can't tell. I just don't know. And I'm not really a good swimmer. You feel me? The ocean is so big, nigga. So think about how deep it is. So, bro, you can't swim and you fucking just start sinking. You fucking, bro, you fuck, bro. Like, you just fuck. You can't do shit about it. You're fuck. Say you go for a boat, a boat. Like, bro, whatever, whatever the case may be, bro, with the boat, whatever happened, bro. Goddamn, nigga, there's sharks out there. Like, you don't know what's in the ocean. Like, you don't know what's out there, bro. You can be goddamn. Ain't anything can happen, bro. Like, ain't anything can happen, bro. I actually don't fuck with too much. I don't fuck with big bodies of water, bro. I don't. I can't fuck with it now. So that's my biggest fear is to drown, to die drowning. That's my biggest fear. All right, my um, my biggest regret. You feel me? I I have I have fucked up with a little with a little shorty or whatever, bro. A little shorty, or whatever, bro. And I thought I thought shit was sweet. But you feel me? Hey, put it like this: the dark will come to the light, bro. The dark will come to the light. I wish things could have played out different from how I did, but goddamn, I did. And if you want that, you want that video. Hey, you feel me? Just let me know. Comment down below and tell me you want that video. And I will do a story time to that to make sure y'all get the, the full info. Both sides of the story. Two sides of every story. You know that. Alright, so. Where's my eye color? Hmm. Can you see it? Actually, it's brown. If those of y'all can see it. What inspires me? Bruh. To really be honest, bruh. NBA Youngboy inspires me, bruh. Youngboy never broke again. He really inspires me. Like. He only a couple months old, older than me, bro. Like, like for real. Like, bro, me and bro is close to the same age, and goddamn, this nigga, this nigga been making music for since I want to say like 14, 14 and up. He been making music, bro. And like, like this man really came from like you feel me nothing. Like he made a name for himself. He kept on pushing. He went to jail and whatnot, but goddamn. He didn't give up. He, he stayed with his dream. And that's what I want to do. I want to want to live my dream as a YouTuber. I want to be a YouTuber. You want anything in this world? But you feel me though? I still got a job. I still work and shit. You know? You feel me? And you already know I'm smacking on the Fritos original. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. They're a little stanky though, but got them. They they get the need, bro. It gets the job done. You heard me. Hmm. Next question. What is the What's the most important thing in my life? Bruh, it's my brother. My brother Zed, bruh. He's the most important person in my life. We've been through so much at a young age. And I don't even know, bruh. It's like, bro, life always been crazy for us, bro. Shit ain't never went how we wanted it to. Like, bro, people grow up thinking the world is so peaceful. So peaceful and shit, bro. But the sad truth is, bro, 
It's not. The world is it's a really a cold place. It's really a cold place, bro. And we grew up. We grew up fat, fast as hell. Seeing that the world is really a fucked up place, bro. Like, but niggas don't understand. The world is so fucked up, bro. And I really hate to say it like that, but the world is fucked up, bro. And it only get, it only get worse. Like, bro, the world is so fucking cold, bro. It's a cold place. And the sad thing is, but like I just said, it only get cold. Like, bro, I don't even know, bro. You guys, y'all are my family. And I love y'all. And you can tell, tell your mom, your dad, your uncles, your aunties, your cousins, your friends, your best friends. Yeah, cause I know, bro, y'all feel deeply about your best friends and your regular friends. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I continue watching. Uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't even do that. I don't even throw that stuff like that. Hey, you never know, though. So, this is the end of this video. Hey, two times gang forever. Big two, big two, over two times. Uh.